From a young age, women are told that it's men versus women. Women aren't told how to survive with men. Women aren't told how to treat a man. Women are told that it's you versus them. Men do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute, King. Why I believe men get it heartbroken first? The reason men get it heartbroken first is because before we get into the video, I need you to stop what you're doing. I need you to hit that like button for me, King. I also need you to subscribe if you're new to the channel and drop a comment down below on every video. This is vital because this is the only way we're going to get these videos out here, Kings. We need to get these videos out here to other Kings to help them become their best versions and their more alpha versions. So I need your help. I need you to be liking every video. I need you to be subscribing if you're not subscribing. And I need you to be commenting on every video. I don't care if you comment a crown for King. I need you to comment on every video, King. Let's get back into the video. So look. If you really look, nine times out of 10, a boy, a man has been heartbroken since a young age, you know? This could be the little boy at the playground who likes the little girl, right? And he takes her flowers because this is what his mother told him to do. This is what the women around him told him to do. So, you know, he, he picks up a flower from out the grass and he gives it to her. And she looks at it and throws it down. Meanwhile, she chases the little boy who's pushing her down and swinging on her and keeps hitting her. The quote unquote bad boy, right? From her early age. And honestly, like the most guys I know who are players now or who are dogs today, at some point they've been heartbroken. It's just the truth. Like I had a homeboy who was a well-known, you know, dog, a well-known ladies man. And just to be real with you, he's been his way mo most of our life, but a lot of people don't know because you know as men we don't want to look weak so the thing is most guys who are players now or dogs now they would rather just look like they've been a dog their whole life and let women have this notion that all men are dogs or some men are just born dogs but i know guys who you know i never put their personal business out there like in the sense of like putting their name out there unless they wanted me to but i know dudes who you know looked at as the ladies man for so long but i know because i knew them growing up that at one point they had the love of their life or you know they had their first love and they was once a good dude and to that heartbreak you know Boosie has a line in the song where he says got my heart broke at 15 or 13 I think he said at 13 I think he said I got my heart broke at 13 that was way way back and all the girls after that it was straight payback and the reality of it is this is why I believe most guys the majority of boys men get their heart broke first I said all the time women can't take rejection men can't take heartbreak it's the balance that we always talk about yin yin yang sun moon day night men woman feminine, masculine, testosterone, um, estrogen. It's always balance in the universe, right? It's balanced on every aspect. Men, we are stronger with rejection. This is why you have guys who shoot their shots on the regular. They don't care, they'll send out a million DMs. You have guys in, in, you know, in real life who will holler at every chick at the bar and get rejected over and over. Men, we can take rejection. We can't take heartbreak. That's balance. We accept that. Women, they can take heartbreak, right? Women will get a heartbreak fucking three times, five times, and keep doing, keep trusting and dating and dating, right? But a woman can't take rejection. That's why they don't shoot their shot first. The majority of women will never talk to you. They'll, they'll rather miss out on the opportunity to have the right person for them, I should say, than get rejected. So I don't want to hear women say shit like, oh, y'all guys, y'all get y'all heartbroken one time and it's the end of the world. Yeah, you fucking right. Because we're not strong in that area. Just like you're not strong in rejection. You get rejected one time and you want to go climb under a rock. You want to go end it all. You know, I seen a meme where the meme was basically like it was a girl and a guy next to each other. It was like, this is how girls shoot their shot. And then in the next clip, it's, I mean, in the next like slot, it shows the girl not saying anything. And then in the next slot, it shows the girl walking off like, well, his loss. And I go to the comment section and all the women in the comment section like, for real, for real, you know, laughing, LOL. We can't take rejection. I refuse to get rejected. If you can't, you know, if you can't catch on, you know, if you can't catch on to my eyes or my, my choosing signals, then oh well. Like the whole conversation is flooded with women admitting that they 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 won't holler at a dude. They refuse to get rejected. But women are trying to get on guys like, all right, y'all get y'all heartbroken one time. We get our heartbroken all the time. Okay. Men get rejected all the time. Y'all get rejected one time and y'all can't handle it. So what is your point? This is why I truly believe men get their heart broken first. You can't tell me otherwise. Every dog I know, every ain't shit, quote unquote, ain't shit dude, right? Player dude I know or ever knew in my life, at some point he got his heart broken and it made him that way. I'm just being honest with you. It's just these dudes and being a man, you don't want to look weak. So guys would rather not speak about it. They just rather women have the notion that they've been dogs their whole life. They rather women have the notion that, you know, they always been a playboy. They always been a ladies man. But I'm talking about even like the, the, the ladies of ladies men I know, the, the pretty boys I know, like, you know, but I know 
It was one girl. I don't give a fuck if he was 10 years old, six years. It was one girl that he tried to be a good guy for and he quickly got exposed to female nature. So I'm saying that to say this. At some point, we all will be exposed to female nature. If you haven't been exposed to it, you will someday because it's just the reality of it. It's just what the fuck it is, you know? So, you know, women can cry about ain't no good men left and all men are dogs, but in all reality, women have made men this way. From a young age, women are told that it's men versus women. Women aren't told how to survive with men. Women aren't told how to treat a man, how to treat a boy, how to treat a man, right? Women are told that it's you versus them. Women are told that definitely now, F these dudes, get to the check, F boys, all this. Meanwhile, little boys get told life is a fairy tale. You know, little boys get told that you should bring flowers and open the door and be romantic and, you know, be this knight shining armor. While they're teaching little girls, F, F, F these men and you're independent. You don't need a man. I believe that men face heartbreak way before women ever face heartbreak. Man could face heartbreak at six years old. You know, he was the good boy and she liked the, the little bad boy at the jungle gym who, you know, kept pushing her down. And that could change him. And like I said before, women that be like, oh, you guys get heartbroken one time and it's the end of the world. Yeah, we can't take heartbreak. You can't take rejection. We're even. It's balanced. We all learn from it. You know, I remember my first heartbreak. It changed me forever. You know, I'll be lying if I tell you I'll ever be that dude that I was before heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? I'm not bitter, y'all know that. But I, I would never be him because I was naive to love. I was naive to women. I was naive to female nature. I believed if you was nice to a girl, that, that's what you had to be, nice to a girl. And then just like so many other men, you know what I'm saying? You're nice to a girl and you see the reality. It's Tupac even have a video where, you know, he's in, uh, this one he was in that uh, dance school and he was talking about how women should be you know, you're supposed to be nice to women and all this. And he said he did that. And the girl told him he's too nice. And then, you know, you have women argue, oh, well, it's about balance. They're not teaching little boys it's about balance. Little boys are not being taught that it's about balance. They're not taught that. They're being taught that you're supposed to be, you know, um, shivery. You're supposed to pull a, you know, pull a chair out, hold the door, you know, validate her, give her attention, tell her you love her. All these things you see in movies. They set little boys up for failure. You know, from the moment a little boy is born, he's told that he's put here to serve women. You know, protect and provide. You know why little girls are being told, you're independent, you don't need a man. Or little girls are being told, you know, I know growing up with my mother, she always told my sisters about game. You know, how to, how to get over on men. You know, she always put them up on game on, you know, how to play men. I'm just going to be honest with you. So I'm saying all that to say, as a man, as a big brother, as a father, as a big uncle, you know, as an uncle, as a father, as a man, you know, as a big brother, as a big cousin, you have an obligation. You. You have an obligation to teach the younger kings under you about female nature. You have an obligation to teach the younger kings about balance. Now, it's not just about being an asshole and disrespecting women. It's about balance. It's about having purpose. It's about not constantly validating her and giving her attention. It's about knowing your self-worth as a man and putting yourself over any woman and putting your purpose over anyone. There's nothing wrong with protecting and providing, but who are you protecting and providing for? I'm gonna repeat that. It's nothing wrong with protecting and providing, but who are you protecting and providing for? What type of woman do you have? And no woman, I repeat, no woman, for the young kings watching this, should come before your purpose. Because your purpose is God. Meaning, God give us our purpose. And then God is our purpose. So when we put a woman over our purpose, we're putting a woman over God. We're putting a woman over ourselves. And we should never do that. And she don't even respect it. So focus on the mission, stay solid, so next time, salute. If you enjoyed that video, show Alpha Sincere some love and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to follow on Instagram at Mr. Female Nature.